Whoa! I appeared from under the table. Aren't I just such a goofball? Hello everyone, it's me, Elliot. Welcome back to another video. It's lovely to see you. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you don't know me, if this is your first time watching a video of mine, which it most likely will be, because this will be my most popular video on this channel. I am going to lock that in right now and say that you can prove me wrong, but this is going to be my most viewed video by a mile. Okay? Prove me wrong, YouTube. Prove me wrong! But if this is the first time that you are watching me, which it is, uh, I am Elliot. Uh, you might have seen my work on Instagram. Maybe I'm assuming a lot of things here. Uh, but my name is Elliot. Is a cool guy on most platforms elsewhere. Um, and I like to find the blend between graphic design and comedy. Yeah, I think there's a very slim intersection there where they, they cross over and they create pure magic. And, and that's what I'm trying to, to... That's what I'm looking for. Okay, that's, I want to I place my feet at the intersection of design and comedy. And we're getting there. I can feel it. Ooh, I can feel it. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. As some of you know, based on last week's video, uh, I'm getting into Adobe Illustrator, okay? Now, it's, a, it's been a long time coming, don't get me wrong. I've always been a Photoshop boy since the day I was born. But Illustrator has always been on my wish list, and I just never really got around to it. I think the main reason I never did it uh, was that like the, the layering is very different. Like you learn layers on Photoshop and then you move to Illustrator and you're like, oh, layers don't really matter anymore. You just have to kind of like send things to the back and the front. Like it doesn't, they actually don't matter that much at all. Like I, I don't even open the layers tab when I'm designing. So once I figured that out, like it was little, it's literally just the same platform program. It's like, it's really not that hard once you already know Photoshop. So if you want to make the switch out, then you need to make the switch. Now's your time. I did it. You need to do it now. Okay. But of course, since I know Illustrator, there's one thing that I have to do. Yeah. I can go on the rest of my life doing my regular designs, you know, doing my, my pretty little posters, my business cards, my little design with Elliot's blah, 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 blah. But I'm a graphic designer. Okay. On Adobe Illustrator. And there's one thing that those two things should do when they're combined, and that's to create minimalist logos, okay? Now, I'm not a logo designer. I want to be very clear on that. I do not design logos. Do not email me asking me to do a logo. I will not reply, or I will reply and just say, thank you, you are a big client, but I, I am not very good. I'm not, I will let you down. Let me tell you, I will let you down. And then you might be like, no, you, you what? You're good, you're good. I'm like, I will, I will let you down. I will crush you. Trust me, I will crush you with disappointment. I've done it before and I will do it again. So logo design really isn't my forte. Um, I just don't really get it personally. Um, I also don't get minimalist logo design in general. Uh, all the little meanings for things that are, I don't think too much when I look at, I don't think too much about design, you know? I think it just, I just like what, making what looks good. Yeah. And that's like the complete opposite of minimalist logo design. It's not about what looks good. It's about what is good, I guess. Yeah. Like what is good for the, the user, for the, well, what will make the company the most money, I imagine, is at the heart of everything. Uh, but it's a it's a very different ball game. But it's something that I want to get into as a joke. Yeah, oh, it nearly caught me slipping there. As a joke, this is gonna I'm gonna be doing it ironically today. Okay, but I want to be very clear on that. So a warning to all of the minimalist logo designers or minimalist fans out there. Sorry if I upset you. I've done it many times on my Instagram page. Minimalism isn't really my thing. Okay, and I might have a laugh about it, but hey, 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 take it as a compliment, please, okay? I understand that what you do is very important. I would never do it myself because mainly because I, I'm not good at it or I don't know how to do it, okay? You are, you're doing so good, okay? This is not about you. It's about your work. <laughs> very different things. You are not your work, okay? So hopefully we can all get a laugh out of this video. That'd be great. But you're probably looking at me and going, Elliot, you don't even look like a minimalist logo designer. What are you doing wearing like an off-white shirt with a dog in the background and the glass of milk candle over there? Well, that's why I thought that maybe today we could do a little bit of dress up and I could dress up as my favorite thing to dress up as, a minimalist logo designer. So let the transformation take place. Ta-da. What do you think? I think it looks pretty bang on. 
You know, the funny thing as well is that the glasses are kind of definitely part of the look too. Um, and sorry to break the illusion, but I have these. Are, these are not prescription glasses. They never have been. Um, I have always only worn blue. These are blue light filter glasses, and I just think they help the character of Elliot on the YouTube channel. I don't feel like I feel too myself without them on. It's a nice way of like creating a distance between us from you knowing the real me. And it, you don't want to know the real me, okay? The real me doesn't reply to comments. That should be very sad. That's why you don't know. When, that's why you don't want to know the real me because he, yeah, he doesn't talk. I'm pretty much the same. I think the only real difference between uh, I put on a funny little voice for the camera sometimes. Okay, but now that I look the part, I think it's time to actually get into the process. Uh, I don't really know how to do this. Once again. Uh, this is really new to me. I did a very, this video is not sponsored by Skillshare, but I did do a, I did do one lesson of a 16 lesson illustrator. I think it was like 16 lessons. One lesson of a 16 lesson illustrator lesson class. Uh, and the first one was definitely something along the lines of minimalist logo design. It's a long time ago. It was a one month free trial. Got through one lesson. It was like a half an hour. Uh, so yeah. With that knowledge, with the power, with that knowledge and the power of Adobe, I am going to uh, absolutely blow your socks off with this design. Okay, hey, this is going to be good. Okay, remember, most viewed video. Let's do this. Let's do this for us. Let's do it. If you've made it this far, please subscribe. Thank you. So the way today is going to work is I'm going to be do doing three minimalist logo redesigns of some of my, some of the most iconic logos imaginable. Okay. Two of them are all, I think all three, the third one's a surprise, but all of them are like, they're already minimalist as is, like as minimalist as it gets, some of them. So that will be an interesting thing to see, but I, I think it's a good idea to reimagine, you know, nothing's perfect as, as they say. Uh, nothing's perfect, so I think it's important to kind of like think about that before going into something and and then always find room for improvement and that's what we're going to be doing today. Now, I obviously have no idea how to do this. I got no idea what minimalist logo design is. So I have looked up on the, the most amazing tool that I have at my disposal, at, at my disposal, the, the internet. Uh, I have looked up how to do a minimalist logo and I found this article from the one and only Adobe website uh, called Minimalist Logo Design. And uh, this, this is exactly what we're looking to do today. Uh, these lines in the background are very important for the flow of the design. Uh, so we're going to be looking to do a lot of stuff with those lines and with the logos themselves. Let's have a read, shall we? Less is more is a good point. Uh, I don't usually agree with this, but since I put on this Instagram hat, I do agree with it. So that's a interesting change is interesting how my perspective has changed since putting on this hat. Uh, why go minimal is definitely a good point. Uh, the pre-design process, visualizing brand identity. Okay, so this is important. We want to be thinking about what we can do before we actually start designing. First point is, of course, do your research. That is very true. You should definitely do your research. Uh, now, the issue we are having today is that I don't actually have a client to ask and inquire about. Okay, uh, so I figured that the best client that we could talk to potentially for some research is, is myself. It's important to talk to yourself sometimes. Hey, Elliot. What do you want to see in today's video? I would like to see some minimalist logo design, Elliot, uh, because that is the title of this video. Ah, I like the way you think, Elliot. I like the way you think as well, Elliot. Hey, keep it up. Thanks, Elliot. You too. Gather design inspiration. Uh, we are definitely going to be doing this, uh, assembling some sort of mood board. Uh, and I've already begun doing that in the in the behind the scenes. And then we're going to start. We're going to do some sketching. <laughs> we're going to develop a, a few logos, and then we're going to present. Okay, that seems that's a very simple step there. So, um, and then you know when we're into, we'll have a look at all of this stuff. But now I want to focus on uh, some of this uh, the the inspiration. So I've gone to Google uh, Images here, which I think is definitely the right place to go when looking for minimalist logo design inspo. Sure, Instagram, Pinterest, and Behance, and all that are options. But I think I think. 
Google Images is where we really want to be for today's uh, video. And already I'm getting so many ideas based on what I can see here. Um, I, I definitely uh, got a lot of inspiration from these from these lovely little symbols. Uh, for example, this is definitely something we want we can we can go with. Uh, and, and, and yeah, there's, there's just so much potential here and I already can see myself. So I'm, I'm so inspired and, and I'm ready to, I'm, I'm ready to work already. That's all the inspiration. No more time. No more time for inspiration. Get, 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 get to work. So the, the things that we're going to remember today are of course, to keep it simple, to stick to geometric shapes and to use space wisely. If I keep these three subheadings in my head uh, for this video and while I'm designing, I think I can genuinely come up with some quite uh, delicious logos. Now, by, based on the tone of me so far, you may be thinking, Elliot, you're probably just gonna like muck around and draw a silly little apple and then call it a day if it's like an apple redesign. And I'm gonna be like, no, 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 no. That'd be too easy. And also that's been done before. People have done that before. I want to, I'm being genuine here. I'm going to make these good. I'm going to try my best to actually make these look good. They probably won't. They pro almost certainly won't, but I'm actually going to try. Okay. So I am going to try today. Yeah. You can trust me on that one. I am going to try for you. So I think it's time to jump right in. And let me reveal what the first logo I'm going to be redesigning for you today is. It's the one, the only, Apple. Bet you didn't see that one coming. I definitely didn't accidentally mention it in the previous segment. We're working with the Apple logo today. And I'm going to make it... I'm going to change your life with this redesign. Okay, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking, there's so many, there's so many ideas going around in my head right now about what we could potentially do with this logo, right? First thing, first things first, if you were from outer space, you're an alien, you, you, you land on this planet, you land in the heart of the United States of America, okay? The Midwest, mid, mid, I'm, I, I Texas, <laughs> uh, uh, somewhere in the middle of the, the um, America, right? And you and you go, oh, can I have your phone, please? And someone shows the Apple logo, and you're like, what is that? You're not gonna know what. You're not gonna be able to point at that logo and say that is that. That is Apple. No, you because you don't know what the, the the name of the logo is. Obviously, how about that for an explanation? What I'm trying to say is that I think that this logo, at the end of the day, needs to have the word Apple on it. Okay, it should be as simple as that. Apple have kind of like, you know, they're on their high horse. They're like, oh, you know, oh, we're fine. We're doing fine. Everyone knows who we are. It's so easy being us. Oh, we're so good. Blah, 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 blah. That they forget about people who don't know who they are. Yeah. And that's an important thing for minimalist logo design. You want to make sure that every single person in the world can look at your logo and be like, that is that company. Okay. They taught me that at design school. I did not go to design school. So let's get this thing out of there. Um, go off the artboard. Ooh, I like being able to do that as, a, as, a, as someone who came from Photoshop. And let's bring out our text tool here. And we're just going to type out a simple little Apple. Okay, nice and simple. Um, and I'm thinking uh, we, we won't go too far away from what Apple usually do. And we'll just stick with a nice little kind of sans serif. Remember, I do want this to look quite nice. Um, and let's use a nice font for this one. Something like... Uh, I'm thinking like maybe an Arial Narrow could look good potentially if we want to go a little bit cooler. Um, I'd also love to use Helvetica, uh, but of course, since this is a Windows computer, I don't have access to Helvetica, but I do have access to Neuer, uh, Neuer Haas Grotesque, which is pretty much the exact same thing. Um, and that's already looking pretty clean and pretty crisp right here, right? Now, I'm thinking a classic thing that I've seen a lot of people do with minimalist logos uh, is to take like a letter and then kind of like turn it into something, yeah? Whether that's like taking like the, if it was like the word lion, you would turn the O of the word lion into the head of a lion and then you'd post it on Behance and then write a 2000 word essay about why that is such a powerful choice to make. I'm sorry if, I'm sorry if that was you. <laughs> Um, so, uh, we've got a nice little bit of text here. We're just going to duplicate that over there, uh, for the moment. Uh, and I'm happy with this text as is so far. So we're just going to do control A and expand because I know how to do that. Very proud of myself, these little illustrator things. Um, and I think what we can do is definitely work with this letter A here. I think, uh, if we, the, the A is the thing that looks most, I would say the apple and apple in general, out of all the letters that we've got at our 
our disposal here, uh, A is the one that I would say is the most apple looking thing. So let's get rid of that for now. Um, and maybe we can try making our own little apple uh, using the, the pen tool really quickly. Um, so let's get, uh, let me just quickly chuck in a, a, a little apple image. So like I said, uh, I think an apple is definitely the, this does not read apple, obviously. You would never read this as apple. You would only ever read this as apple because the apple is such a pointy, pointy shape. Um, but I think there's definitely uh, potential here. This is def this is not looking good. This is, this is looking very silly. I'd love to play along and say it looks good, but this looks ridiculous. So much so that I'm reconsidering making this video all in, in, entirely. But I think if we grab our, our little uh, pen tool, maybe we could we can potentially uh, make some sort of cool, nifty little shape uh, out of out of this here apple. Um, so let's just do a nice little uh, outline here. Let's see if we can turn this apple into an A. All right, and let's see if we can give this design an A plus. If you comment on this video something nice, I'll give you an A plus plus. Okay, I'll just, let's, let's do something like. Okay, that took way too long. Um, I'm still very, wow. You, you do simple things like just like outlining a pen with the pen tool and you, you just, you realize you're like, wow, I'm new to this program still. Um, that being said, I do think this looks pretty pretty cool in all in all seriousness. Um, and what I'm thinking of doing is like maybe uh, I, I like the outlined style of this. I don't mind this at all. Um, actually, maybe if we make it a little bit taller, reaching the top of that uh, L there, or we make it even shorter and kind of make it like a, a cat, like an underscore uh, A could be cool as well. I like that actually. Um, I don't really like the L kind of popping up there as the only thing. And I'm wondering if we could maybe turn that into like, into like the, like the stem, like we put a little leaf on it or something. Uh, and then we go like, oh, that's because it's an apple. That could be fun. That could be fun. That could definitely be a, a, a fun thing to do. Uh, in fact, how about we make that right now? Um, let's do a little, add a point there. Just nice little point. Um, yep. Yeah. How about that? How about that, everyone? That's a that's a that's that's a stem of a um that's the stem of an apple. Uh, just poking out of the just a subtle little detail, just a subtle little detail on the L. Uh, it'll take a keen viewer to acknowledge the presence of that little uh, the the leaf there. But when they do, they'll be like, oh, whoever designed this logo, they suck. I'm thinking if there's a way we could make this look more like an A or at least like a lower uh, case A. I do think it's important that we make it not look like Opal um, because it really does scream Opal right now. And I'm just thinking with the lower case A, we'll just have like a little, if we just had like a little stem kind of thing coming off it there. I do like how rough the, this, like, cause it could have just used a circle and I do like how rough it kind of is since it's following the outline of that Apple. And it gives it a cool little effect look to it I think um which is nice and I'm just thinking maybe we could just do potentially like a stem going on the inside or even like a little what if we did something like this if we grabbed like a little circle perhaps and we kind of like you know you know gave it the sense it's like it looks like a I don't even know what that is like a pot or something like a vase like a, a like a very stubby big toe i don't even know i got no idea but i'm i actually like i think it i think it works i think it works bear with me one second okay i think we might have a finished product for this one now what i like about then what, I, what i've just done there is I've, I've changed the 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 little the the hole in the a which obviously is symbolic of the um like a, a maybe an, a hole in a worm, like a, a worm hole, like that a a worm might be in an apple. Classic apple imagery that comes to your head when you think of an apple. Uh, it also matches the the leaf the the leaf on the stem a little bit, which is very smart. Uh, so it's a motif 
in the design, which I think is pretty cool. Um, and I think it just looks uh, quite nice there. And I also made it a little bit wobbly to match the outside. Uh, and now this looks pretty standard as is. However, let me just mock this up really quickly. And I think you'll genuinely be like, whoa, Elliot, where the, uh, like in going from this, going from this thing, you know, look at that. You could fit the whole logo inside the bite of that. Um, going from that big dog apple to this slim down minimalist version of that, unreal. Show me those mock-ups. Check these out. See what I mean? All it takes is a little bit of color and a little bit of texture and any logo can suddenly look like it exists out there in the world. Unreal. So good. This is not my career. So I'll give myself a, a, an A plus on that one for Apple. A being the, the letter that we were messing with makes so much sense. Uh, and we're going to move on right away to our second logo redesign. Now, for this one, I had a good think about what would be good for you guys to witness. And I figured, well, look, maybe the answer is on me. Maybe the answer is literally on me. And of course, it is the one and only Instagram logo that we will be ruining, uh, making, f fixing now. Instagram has been a big, big part of my life. I owe a lot of my career, pretty much all of my career to uh, it, not Instagram itself, but the people who follow me on Instagram. Uh, so it, it, it only makes sense to use that beautiful square logo somewhere uh, in this video. And I think and I think this is definitely the moment to do it. Now, Instagram's a little bit tricky. Uh, it is a, gone through quite a few redesigns in its time. Uh, some people will say that they adored the old one, the, the little like uh, gradient kind of like hyper realistic camera looking thing, whatever you want to, whatever style that one was in. Uh, and I agree. I do like that one. I think it had a lot of class to it. I think it was nice and cool. Uh, but I definitely think the new one makes a lot of sense. Uh, and I never really liked the one before this. So this is kind of like a nice middle ground. I think I really like the rounded rectangle kind of stuff we got going on. I'm a big fan of rounded rectangles personally, but yeah, I don't really know how to improve on it, I guess. Um, so let's just, open it up and see what we can do. We made it work for Apple. I'm sure we'll make it work for Instagram. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm, I'm sure we'll make it work for Instagram. So here's the, the base product of what we're going to be uh, redesigning today. Um, now, of course, there are, there are two logo versions of this. We got the logo and then the logo type. That's the term. Uh, I really like this one. I really like how simple it is. Nice and chill. Love that little second dot. Very cheeky little addition to it that makes it look like a camera. Uh, but I've always, I've never really liked the type. I'm going to be honest. And I feel like a lot of people can agree with me. These do not feel connected at all, right? Am I alone in thinking that? I swear this is like a thing, right? Um, but yeah, like I don't really see how these kind of work together. Uh, so I think there's definitely room for improvement here. Uh, and we're going to try and improve on that. Uh, and we, we, we might succeed and we might fail miserably. Um, but that's all part of the fun, being honest and open with you all and inviting you into my process and my creative journey without worrying about you judging me. So stop writing that comment, user 11247. I, I can see it already. Let's get rid of these. Get them, get them bloody out of here. Okay, get them out of here. Um, what I'm thinking for this one in, in terms of ideas, Instagram, of course, is a, is a photo a photo sharing app. But these days, it's more of a video sharing app. In fact, these days, it's more, more or less TikTok. Yeah, with its focus on reels. Um, I'll also say I wasn't a fan of the redesign with like the shopping tab and everything. However, I do find myself scrolling the shopping tab like I would scroll on a regular feed. I don't know if it's because I've moved recently and I got like new furniture to buy and stuff. Um, but like, I, it's a, it, once it knows, it, once it's like, oh, Elliot likes graphic design. He must like well-designed pieces of cool, colorful furniture. Once it learned that, I was I was I was a I was a goner. Yeah, and it's it's got a grip on me that I can't let go of. So I'm thinking maybe if we go along the lines of like video, I think we'll do a little bit better than than the regular kind of like photo. This is very this screams photo to me, not video. So we're gonna try and play around with that a little bit. First thing I want to do is change this font, of course. So let's start uh, just typing a simple Instagram. Now I personally call it Insta. Um, I don't really call it Instagram too much. Maybe it's because I'm an Aussie, uh, but we're a minimalist designer, therefore I am uh, American uh, because I'm, I look like I look American today. Um, so we're gonna do some. We're gonna call it inst Instagram, okay? We're gonna call it the full word in Instagram. 
Um, let's... Uh, the Neue Haas Grotesque is working well, but I think maybe a taller font. Um, leaning towards something like Baybass New, or we might actually, you know, do something like... Uh, let me try Formula Condensed from Pangram Pangram, right? Um, so this looks pretty... Uh, let me try and just... That looks pretty clean as is. I don't mind that at all. Um, maybe something a little bit bolder will look better as well. Uh, give it a little bit more uh, weight, potentially. Let's try that in a, a bolder weight. And I keep having to adjust the kerning size, which is getting on my nerves a little bit. Something like that is quite cute. I don't mind that at all. Um, and let's see this, what it looks like in, in full caps. That's pretty cool. That's pretty modern. That's pretty clean. So let's duplicate this one here. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking it might be leaning almost into too cool and getting into that retro kind of vibe. We, we need to bring it back to its like humanist roots. That's what minimalism is all about because we're making minimalist logos, okay? Part of me wants to do my own thing, but no, we've got to... We're sticking to the brief like a good uh, minimalist. Um, so let's change to a, a, a humanist font, something like uh, Tenon, which I think has, is the best of both worlds in that it's like quite a cool looking font and definitely definitely one that I think, uh, like even though it has its cool elements, I think brands are leaning towards uh, their logos being a little bit cooler, especially in terms of the sans serifs they use. They want ones with like a little, they usually want like custom ones or like ones with a little bit of quirk to it, right? Um, and I think this one might just be a winner there. Um, and that's already looking nice, right? I really like this actually. Um, I think this is definitely up our alley for just that simple kind of like uh, font to start with. Yeah, so let's roll with this as our, as our font choice for, for, for today. Now, the next thing I want to do is, of course, make that symbol. Uh, the main one that I'm thinking of right now is to potentially just do like, uh, if we got like a like a simple uh, rounded rectangle uh, and then just did like a nice little triangle on the end kind of to give it a, you know, like a film, film camera vibe, you know what I mean? Like a very simple this and then maybe we go into a polygon tool. We just do a three-sided... Uh, polygon, uh, rotate it a little bit like that. Maybe do that. Uh, maybe round the edges a tiny bit as well and just stretch it up. And let's have a look here. Mm. Okay, so some, this is nice and simple. This looks pretty clean, right? Definitely the, the idea of like a film camera is there which is which is good that's what we want um and now i'm thinking if potentially we put instagram uh into the the, the camera that could that could maybe look cool i don't know let's find out that sort of sort of look looks cool it's not really like ideal in in that like you know like you kind of just look at this and you go that's not even yeah like it's not, it's not even. Like you've got the G kind of like hanging below and you've got the the I going a little bit too tall. There's a lot of space here. There's a lot of space kind of up here. It doesn't really work. I mean, I don't mind it though. And I definitely think there is potential here. Uh, so let's go back to that old uh, logo type uh, that we had for a second. And let's start focusing on this uh, image again. So let's take this. I want to fill this in now. I'm thinking this would look better if it was nice and... Uh, and nice and filled in. Uh, so let's get that going with, a, with the black fill. Uh, let's rotate these a little bit, I think, just like a tiny little bit uh, and shrink these down. Because um, this is like, I, I don't I don't mind this. It's very simple. It's almost too simple. And I think maybe we should kind of keep that little red dot in there somewhere. So let's take a little dot. Uh, let's make this nice and red. Uh, in fact, let's use a, like a cool cool red for this one one that i've got saved up boom awesome um and if we chuck that just in there that might look no this is just now the issue is see the issue is here we're just looking like a uh like a film company or something you know this it's not a social media there needs to be there needs to be a social aspect to it that's what i'm missing maybe the record button is a person. I think we're definitely onto something here. Okay, let's make a tiny little, just a tiny little basic person shape. 
just a rounded rectangle for the body uh, and a circle for the top. Uh, if we just crunch those corners in a, a little bit, uh, and I'm just thinking if we can make, like if we can round this top off here uh, and then just square it off at the bottom. I think this is the easiest way to make this happen, maybe. Seems like it, we just did it. Pathfinder these together, let's unite those. Boom. Uh, make sure that's all lined up with, that's not snapping for some reason. It's not snapping. I'm gonna snap very soon. I'm gonna snap, I'm gonna snap, I swear to God. Um, and there we go, there's a little person, okay? There is, that's definitely like, that is definitely reminiscent of like a human, I think. And I think that's an important thing to include in the design. Uh, and if we, we drag this back in here, we take these, we rotate it a little bit and we just shrink them, we just shrink them, we just shrink them into there or even like maybe all the way here, you know, duplicate them, maybe, chuck them over there, you know, we've got, there's definitely something here, everyone, there's definitely something here and I'm not afraid to admit it, okay? I'm not afraid to admit that there is, uh, that there is definitely something here. This isn't even at all. This isn't the, this is not even well, this is the worst spacing I've done in a while. This is what happens when you rotate something before you, you, you know, I could have just, so many mistakes have been made. Let me fix all this up real quick. Okay. So new idea. I'm thinking this could be cool. Um, if we, if we take this, this person here, uh, we make them, uh, white to cut against that uh, the black camera um, and then if we shrink it down there move it in here and then we take this and then this feels minimalist right and then we go like there then we've got like the the whole idea of someone in the camera right and it's like this is like a play button almost you know <laughs> it's me media media that's what this is that's what all of this is. It's just, me it's media and it's good. Um, so let's take that and we've got, there we go. And then, and then we can take the Instagram logo. Whoa. Let me fix this up real quick. Ignore, uh, I'm just going to have to quickly research how to get rid of this little thing down here. And there we have it. There's our Instagram logo. Um, obviously it is a person in the camera, uh, because the app is about you, the, the, the user, uh, in the app using the camera to produce content. That is what the, that, that is what the app is made for. So it makes a lot of sense. The more I pursue with this video, the more I am just completely perplexed by my, my sense of self. I've got no, I, I've, I'm slowly losing track of what's going on. I'm actually not too annoyed about this design. It's not that bad. I don't think the text is cool. I think I chose a good font. That's always a win. I think 90% of logo design for me is choosing a good font. You know, if someone contacted me and was like, hey, can you do us a logo? I'd be like, okay, which font looks better? You know, I'm not a symbol guy, as you can tell. I don't think this is turning out too bad though. Well, maybe. Let's mock it up. Enjoy. Pretty cool colors. Pretty cool font. Pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's all pretty cool. It's pretty cool, isn't it? We've done Apple. We've done Instagram. We've done the, those are the big dogs. Okay. So what could I possibly top those? What could I possibly do for my third and final logo design? What could I, what could possibly, uh, top all that? And I thought it would be time to reflect. Okay. Time to reflect on the process so far and the journey that I've gone through as a designer. And I decided that the final logo that I will be rebranding today, the final thing that I think is in need of a rebrand is me. Bet you didn't see that one coming, did you? No. It's important to rebrand yourself every so often. Um, today was a big day for me. I booked a haircut in for two weeks from now. Can't wait to show you all. I think I'm going to request a baby mullet. A baby mullet. Last time I went, um, I, I was like, I was like, screw it. I'm going to get a mullet. Okay. I'm going to get, I'm going to do it. I'm going to get a mullet. And, um, I, I went to a very, like it was like 30 bucks for a haircut. Oh, you know, I wasn't really, I, I wasn't looking for like a real solid cut. Um, and, and, and I showed this guy the photos and he was like, 
so you want a mullet? And I was like, no, 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 like not a mullet mullet, like a nice mullet. He's like, you want a mullet? And I'm like, no, 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 like not a mullet mullet, like just like a chill, very low key mullet. And turns out the term for that is baby mullet, I think, from what I've seen on Instagram. But anyway, that's what I'll be getting. A little bit of that's so I thought it'd be, you know, it's funny to do a rebrand, you know, of me in general. Well, I don't have a logo as well. So this kind of all makes sense. So I'm going to be making a logo and a little minimalist design for me. I think that makes a lot of sense. Um, what I'm thinking straight away, this is a headshot that I got done in 2019. Uh, if you're an agent out there and you're looking to get a new actor, very funny guy, hit me up. I think if I could potentially like use the outline of my head for something, I think that could be pretty cool. Or maybe just like my eye or I don't know. And they say Illustrator is vec no pixels. Come on, get a grip. So what I think we could do potentially is um, I might just try image tracing this just to see what we get. Uh, <laughs> image trace is kind of like, you know, my bread and butter as a Photoshop user. So I'm, I'm curious as to see what results this may yield. If it crashes my computer, farewell. This has been fun. Um, but otherwise we'll see how we go. So here's what we got, um, out of, out of, uh, we just vectorized my face and this is what it kind of turned out to be. Uh, kind of looks like someone who might haunt you in your dreams. Like, have you seen this man in your dreams kind of style? Uh, which I think is an interesting take. I personally think this is, uh, this isn't good. Uh, and, but the, the, I'm having ideas, uh, cause what I think could be, you know, part of the, the process of making a minimalist logo is like, knowing that at the end of the day, you're going to be able to show this logo to people and they're going to say, I don't get it. This isn't good. And then you can go, uh, 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 this is why this is good because this is what it means. So I need to find the, the hidden meaning behind all of this. Okay. So what I think could be fun is if we just focused on like this. Yeah. My eye and my eyebrow. Pretty pretty natural looking shapes, pretty, you know, you know, pretty out there. I think there's so much potential here. So let me isolate these and we'll work with these. So here's our eye, the eye of Elliot. Um, pretty cool. I actually really like what happened here. We got this nice little rectangle reflection going on in my eye. I thought that was pretty awesome. Um, we can tidy this up a little bit. I don't think all of this is necessary. I think we can get rid of like this and that, maybe bring this a little bit closer uh potentially or keep it keep it up we want to keep the integrity of it as well i think that's important uh and maybe even oh uh, we'll keep we'll get rid of that i think i don't think it's necessary it is cool oh it's part of of course it's just a white shape now it's an empty space i guess that's how illustrator works i i, I can't bother filling this in so now it's an integral part of the design um, I'm going to play with different directions of this. I think it might look good if it was on its side or something. Like, there's definitely potential here. I don't know what that potential is, but there definitely is potential there. Upside down is pretty cool. Looks like a little... Maybe there's a face there. Maybe you can see a face if you look hard enough. This is weird. This is not fun. <laughs> want to get rid of that. Um, maybe that's like a lip. That's an eye. Like, there's so many potential readings of this. Um, and then we can kind of like... Let's rotate it a little bit more again i do like the vertical kind of style to it what if we play around with this a little bit maybe move things a little bit closer together let's get rid of that real quick i want to get rid of just just this here just this here and i'm going to figure out how to do that in private so just bear with me okay so it's not looking too bad it's not looking too bad um i'm thinking maybe just get rid of this as well and kind of just work with this shape here i think there's uh there's a lot of potential in this in this shape alone i like that angle i like that angle quite a bit actually um if we kind of keep these together rotate it maybe a little bit more so it's more kind of horizontal parallel there i think that looks pretty cool that definitely has a little bit of potential for sure yeah big time so let's find a font that might work well for this uh of course we're just going to do elliot's i think for this one um and let's work with like a true like a true humanist kind of font, like Proxima Nova, for example. This is like the definition of like 2012 minimalism, you know, like 2012 cafe startup kind of thing, you know. I've used this font countless times. I thought this was vintage at one point. And maybe I'm old enough to say that it is. Maybe 23 is old enough. You tell me. Let's drag this thing just down here a little bit and maybe kind of tuck it in 
there. That could be nice. That's already looking pretty creative and cool. Uh, we could also enlarge it potentially uh, and kind of sneak it in here uh, and use this as kind of like an accent. I'm also imagining if this was like the O itself, right? We kind of like tied that into the design somehow, um, but I just don't know if I'm going to be able to, if I have the, the technical ability to do that, but I will try. So let's time lapse this part and see if I can come up with how to do that. Um, wish me luck. So that's my eye, I guess, um, kind of done upside down and, and slithered into the to, into my name. Um, I like the outline here. I was playing around with whether this should be white with a black outline, um, and then it kind of feel, felt a little bit too cartoonish and not really. It, it, it wasn't. It didn't scream that like you know that that classic minimalist kind of style that everyone's everyone's used to, where uh, it's kind of like all. It feels like it's just one slim layer rather than something stamped on top of each other. Like you know, th this feels kind of like a little bit more smooth, the sharp edges kind of like symbolizing how sharp I am as a creative, I guess, maybe uh, the, 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 this little rectangle here kind of giving it a little bit of depth. Pretty cool, not too bad. Um, and I don't actually mind this. In, in, all, in all seriousness, I, won't, I will not be using it. I want to be very clear on that. I will not be using this. But maybe there are some ideas here that we can take into other designs in the future. Uh, and maybe I've learned something today and I think that's important. So let's mock this one up and let's see how it goes in, 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 in color and texture. Have a look at this. Pretty cool. Pretty nice colors. Uh, and and good good applications pretty cool actually kind of works so there you have it three logos minimalist logos done just like that um thank you thank you costume for helping me get through this one i wouldn't have done it without you uh, turtleneck i'm actually not too um like displeased I guess I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how some of these turned out. Um, I don't think that they were a piss take at all, which I think is important. They, they felt very genuine. Um, and I think that's good. Uh, I'm not very good at minimalist logo design, which is something that I'm learning as well. And maybe you learned that too. Uh, so shout out to all of my minimalist logo viewers out there. You guys do good work and I don't think I could ever do what you do. So in all seriousness, I, I have a lot of respect for your line of work. Um, Good on you. Good, good on you. Good on you. Um, I don't even know what style I would consider my design to be in. I don't even think it's maximalist or anything. I just think it's a uh, uh, fun. I guess. I don't know. I don't know. It's not. It's not this. It's not minimalist. I guess. At the end of the day. But I really hope you enjoyed the video. That was a lot of fun to film, and I think it was a. I think this is one of my favorite videos I've made. It feels like it, at least from the perspective of uh, as I'm as I'm filming it it, feel, it feels great it feels like I've, I'm finding my voice on this platform which is important um, and in all seriousness and I don't know if this helps other people but I, I'm currently wearing headphones for this video which means that I can hear myself right and I just find it's easier to kind of like regulate my voice and and it, it just sounds like I don't know since I can hear myself I can hear what you're going to be able to hear I can kind of like structure it or I, I feel like I just sound better this video I feel like there's more of a sense of storytelling in a design video, which is what I aim for. So maybe you've noticed the same. Let me know if you've noticed the same. Thank you so much for letting me know in advance. But thank you so much for watching the video. I always appreciate your time. These are long videos. The graphic design side of YouTube, they have long videos. We're not about the clickbait on the graphic design, design side of video YouTube, okay? Where we, we create yeah, we graphic designers, we create uh, to inspire, okay? We create so that you can do your client work with a bit of white noise. The soothing sound of my voice as a bit of white noise for you as you design your life away. My message for you is to, hey, keep it up, okay? Graphic design isn't as bad as we all say it is, yeah? Everyone's so negative about graphic design. It's fun. That's why we do it. It's a pretty cool job. Yeah. I'm going to make a video about this one day. Uh, but I hope that helps you. 
If you like this, then you're going to love my Twitch stream. Okay, I stream over there three times a week. Uh, and it's really, really cool. Every Friday or Thursday night, if you're in America, which is my main audience. Uh, it, it, we do Design Chef, which is a, a thing where I give a challenge, essentially. Uh, some sort of design challenge. Uh, last week's one, for example, which was the first week, which is... Uh, I filmed these in different times, but the first episode that I've, we've done so far was uh, uh, one where we had to make custom lettering for someone else in the Twitch stream, and it was absolutely lovely, and it was just such so nice to see people designing for each other. It was just really a beautiful thing to see. We all have 60 minutes to design, and then I review everyone's work on screen and give out a few VIP badges to let your name stand out in the Twitch chat. Uh, but it really is quite a bit of fun. We do a little print giveaway at the start as well, which is always a joy. Uh, and I think you'll really enjoy it. So if you if you like this, then you'll love uh, the Twitch stream. It's just so goofy. Um, and that's in the, the bio. That's in the description of this video. So feel free to click that if you would like. My print store is also open if you're interested in snagging a print of mine. I know some of you like my work, so feel free to grab one over there. They're great quality, I assure you myself. Uh, and otherwise, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching the video, and I'll, I'll see you again next week for some more Elliot content. Uh, feel free to ask me any questions about design or anything you want, and I will hopefully reply. I really do appreciate your time. Thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, thank you for being part of the community, and I will see you next week. Have a good one. Bye for now. I am very warm in this turtleneck. See you later.